Hey everyone, it's the Doug Russell Television Show right here on SportsRadio1250.com. We finally get to hear from Tiger Woods tomorrow for the first time since last November. He's dropped out of sight, apparently to undergo sex addiction therapy. Give me a break. When I heard this, I started busting out laughing out loud because this is a joke. Come on, Tiger Woods is a sex fiend who thought he could get away with it. He's not addicted to sex to the point where he had to undergo some sort of therapy for it. Men cheat on their wives for a number of reasons. They think they can get away with it. They aren't getting what they think they need at home. Whatever. You can explain it away all you want. But to call it sex addiction, that's about as nonsensical as me having an addiction to M&Ms to the point where I can knock over a liquor store to feed my addiction. It's utter nonsense. Don't buy it. His group therapy sessions, do they include Santa Claus, the Tooth Fairy, and Kanye West's humility? Give me a break. We've become such a namby-pamby, hand-holding, hand-wringing society that anytime anybody does anything wrong, we have to try to explain it away, saying they're addicted to something and they have some sort of chemical imbalance balance. It's utter nonsense. Look, it's too late for Tiger Woods to get in front of the story. It's been three months. He's going to have to say something about it other than I'm sorry. And I'll be very interested to see what he is going to say about it tomorrow, but just don't make any excuses. That's the one thing that in this society we cannot abide by. Excuses. Tiger Woods is no different than anybody else who got his hand caught in the cookie jar. All you have to do is come out, own it, say I'm sorry, and move on. He's still the greatest golfer of all time. He's still going to break Jack Nicklaus's all-time record of 18 majors. He's still going to have more wins than anybody else when all is said and done. He is still the most exciting athlete on the planet. But come on, don't try to convince me that you've got some sort of chemical imbalance because I'm not buying it.